Hello everyone, I am Khanam. This is my 10th video in React series. Okay, in our previous video, we have learned about JSX attributes. Okay, these are called as attributes. This target, href, this alt. Okay, these are called as attributes. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to practice whatever we have learned till now. We are going to see our practice example and this will be our second practice example. I'll just clean this everything. Now inside this I have just written the question. First we have to import react and react DOM modules. I will just write that one. Import react from react. And next I have to import one more module. I will just write here from. Below this I will be importing that one. Import react DOM from react DOM. Okay, I have to import these two modules and I have to define this render method here react dom dot render and this will take two arguments first what it should be displayed and second where it should be displayed okay i have to use multiple jsx elements so i'll be wrapping this inside syntactic sugar form and where it should be displayed is inside document dot get element by id and my id is root i'll just close this one using semicolon here now this id root is available inside index.html and this div is having this id and i am just accessing this div container okay this entire container using this get element by id selector and whatever code i will be writing here that will be stored inside this div container now inside this first i have this display name using jsx variable inside jsx element okay first i will be creating javascript variable here I will be using let keyword and inside this I will just give here my name and here I will be writing Khanam. Now I have to display this inside my JSX element. Okay, Using JavaScript variable I have to display my name. I will just reduce this one. Here I will just write H2. If we have to use JavaScript inside our JSX element, we have to wrap that inside curly braces. I will just paste, I will just copy this one and here I will be writing that and here I will just write my name is okay we are done with our first output i'll just refresh this one this we have seen in our previous tutorial now i got my name is khanam okay my output is been displayed now next is display place using javascript variable inside jsx element okay in the same way i'll just come here now here i'll be uh, creating one variable place and inside this i'll just give here mumbai now here below this i will be creating one more h2 tag i will just write here i am i am from and inside curly braces i will just write this place place variable i will save this now if i refresh this one you can see i will be getting i am from mumbai my name is khanam now next next is my i have to display image using javascript variable inside my jsx element now here i'll be creating one variable i'll give my variable name as image and inside this i'll be pasting the image link okay we have seen that inside this unsplash api okay you just have to type this one source.unsplash.com and here i'll be having this link i'll just copy this link and here i'll be pasting that link okay instead of I'll just change it to 600 instead of 1600. I'll just change it to 600 by 300. Now this image I have to display. I'll just come here. I'll be writing image and inside SRC. Now I'll be using JavaScript here. So I'll not be wrapping inside double quotes. Here I'll be writing this variable name. I'll copy this one and here I'll be storing that one. And inside alt I'll just write here image. I'll save this. Now if I refresh my project. Now you can see I have this image is been displayed my heading tag my my name my place and my image is been displayed now. Now next I have display one random number you can see display one random number. I'll just come here I'll be writing h1 and inside this I'll just write h1 and inside this I have to display one random number just use this mat dot random. I'll save this now if I just refresh this one. I will not be having anything because we have to close this like this in I'll just write I'll just give some number here I'll just give 100 I'll save this now if I refresh this you can see I'll be getting this random number some random number I'm getting if I refresh this again the number will be changed and I'm getting this random number now we have displayed one random number now I have to display the current time 
okay to get the current time to get current time i'll just create one variable i'll give my variable name as time and inside this i'll be getting the time so i'll just give this new date i'll save this now below this h1 i'll just uh, write one again i'll just write h1 and inside this i'll be passing this time i'll save this now if i refresh this one now you can see here i'll be getting an error which states that objects are not valid as a react child and but i am getting this output here you can see here saturday july 31st 2020 and time i am getting here okay now i want to display the time so we have this method i'll just come here i'll be writing this to local date string i'll just write this one i'll save this now if i refresh this one you can see i'll be getting this uh, okay i got the date i got date here uh, july 31st 2021 i want to display the time instead of two date string i have one more method that is two local time string i'll be writing that one two local you, you can see here i have this method i want this one two local time string now if i just refresh this one you can see i'll be getting the output now the time is 1:53 am okay this is what we can get the data Okay, you can see I have displayed the name, I have displayed the place, I have displayed image, I have just displayed one random number and I have displayed the time. Okay, this is just the practice tutorial to practice how we can use JSX elements, how we can use JSX expressions and how we can use this alt attributes. Okay, this attributes here. Okay, now we are done with this tutorial. In our next tutorial, we are going to see about template literals. Okay, thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.